<laughs> what is up, guys? Capcom here, one anti gamer, bringing you guys some more Zombie Origins gameplay, and I have got something awesome for you guys today. And you're actually going to see actually four minutes of gameplay of me actually using the fire staff. So definitely be on the lookout for that. That'll be on the end of the gameplay here. But I'm going to show you guys how to build the staff. Um, that's actually the first part. So the first part is basically you just have to kill uh, that guy in the suit that has a claw and like grabs you. Which is pretty crazy. That, <laughs> that boss is just insane. So um... Yeah, so as far as actually, you know, finding the parts is pretty easy. Actually, I was dead, and this guy was able to actually find all the staff parts for us, which is really nice. Um, the first staff, the fire staff, is pretty easy to find. Um, you're going to have to pick up the record, which you're not going to see that, actually, because this is recorded in theater mode, but he did pick up the record right there. And he's actually going to show you the other locations where it could be, because I've actually picked up the record, I think, on this... Um, on the ledge right there so just keep that in mind and then there's a couple other places it could be by the tank he said so uh yeah so that's pretty cool so now you know where all the locations are which is really important some of the parts actually don't move or change um you're gonna see that here in a second because actually one of the parts is actually at uh generator six so you actually use uh generator six and uh, most people have already gotten this part this is real easy to get because if you go to generator six and you turn it on to get pack a punch um you're actually going to get one of the parts in the box over here which is really handy because that um part is going to help you build the staff parts now that might actually be the first part that you probably picked up when you played the zombie origins you know game and um you're, you're probably like oh what is this you know staff parts and i asked for like katanas and badass freaking melee weapons you could chop the zombie heads off with but um you know that's not in here i guess so they gave us staffs and the staffs are pretty badass because they have elements you know um this one's fire that we're building here and it is freaking sick it is really awesome so that was actually the third part that we picked up so we only need one more part actually for the fire staff and the last part is actually pretty cool pretty uh innovative here and um, so you're going to see a plane actually fly around, and this plane is actually on fire. And uh, you're going to shoot it down. You're going to shoot down the plane, which is pretty cool, pretty badass. And you're going to see a fireball come down from the plane. And that's actually the, the fourth and final part you're going to need for the actual fire staff. Now, you do need two other parts. Um, I'm going to show you those parts as well. And that's actually the music player, which most people probably know where that is. Um, but the record actually is in the front here, right here on the stairs. And you're not going to see that, of course, because this is theater mode. And actually, I think I pick up the phonograph. So you're going to see that or the record player itself. So, oh my gosh, the zombie blood is freaking awesome. Look at this. This is funny. They just come in after them and then they just stop. Dur -dur -dur. <laughs> so, um, now... I actually show you guys where the phonograph is so this is actually um, going back a little bit because I want to put this next to where the record was because those two parts are important those are a must because if you don't have those two parts um, you can't get through the portal because this is how you actually get through the portal um, where you see like the cave and it, it gives you like a sign it says fire so he actually goes down in the cave um, you put the phonograph or the music player right here and uh, you just wait and uh, make sure, you know, maybe have your teammates help you out. But I think he was the only guy alive, which is really crazy. So he was able to do a lot of this stuff for us, which was awesome. And uh, there you go. There's the portal uh, that we go through and uh, go in this freaking crazy area here. So we pick up the element, I'm assuming, and we actually have to go back. So get on this, like, um, platform here. Make sure you hit the platform. You don't want to stay in here. You want to, you know, just... It's a grab and go, you know, um, and then once you go back, you actually go where Pack-A-Punch is and there's an actual secret layer down underneath Pack-A-Punch, if you didn't know. Um, definitely pick up your uh, music player because you're going to need that later and you don't want to have to go back and get that. Um, so we go back and we actually uh, were at Pack-A-Punch. So if you haven't seen Pack-A-Punch before, where it is, there's Pack-A-Punch. Pretty badass. There is a new like color on the pack-a-punch weapons, which is really awesome. So 
Um, you put the music player right there and you wait and you're actually going to see the stairs open up to go downstairs to where you actually build the fire staff. Fire! And um, you know what? I was actually grateful that he let me actually use the fire staff. I think because he wanted to use the other staffs, I guess they're a little bit better. But I'll tell you what, the fire staff is a mean motherfucker. Um, so he actually builds the fire staff for me and uh, that was really awesome. So, special thanks to Jake and RTG, and uh, his buddy actually, I think it was Got Glide or something. So, all three, of, all four of us were uh, actually playing yesterday, and um, we were going to go for a high round, but here we go. I actually pick up the Fire Staff. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Fire Staff. Oh my gosh, this thing is badass. And uh, his buddy comes downstairs, this is kind of funny, and uh, he goes down and I don't go back and pick him up because I'm like, I got the fire staff, and I'm not dying with this fire staff. Um, I think if you go down, the fire staff goes back in the same location. I could be wrong, but I think that's what uh, he told me, so that's good to know. Like, if you if you go down and you lose it, you can get it back, um, but there is four you know four staffs you could build so here's it in action guys here's the fire staff in action um and it is just insane now keep in mind you want to fill up those boxes because there is something awesome when you fill those boxes up hopefully i can get a video on that because that is just that's my video right there guys that that is that ability that you could do when you fill up those boxes with the zombie souls is just Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. I, I can't wait to make a video of that. So you guys are going to really enjoy that. But um, this video right here is just amazing as well. Just beasting it out with the fire staffs. And uh, we are just picking up all the parts, having a great time. And uh, I was trying to, you know, be a team player, trying to help my teammates out. I was actually trying to actually get the the boxes filled. That was my main priority. So I was like, okay, we got the, one of the staffs. And uh, I think the other guy, Jake, he was actually trying to build the um, lightning staff or the, the ice staff, which the ice staff is pretty cool. Um, but as far as the fire staff, oh my gosh, this thing is just insane, insane in the membrane. So I think I, I, I try to save uh, RTG here. I was, I was going to go and pick him up, but uh, I think uh, there was just a horde of zombies behind me. But I just annihilate them with this fire staff it's freaking insane but unfortunately i couldn't pick him up but i was like all right so i gotta go back around and pick up this guy and um you know this map is really awesome because you can really run good trains i, I enjoy playing on this map um the tank is great because you know you can run as a team get on the tank and have some good times and just enjoy the game for what it's worth it's really awesome they you know Treyarch did a great job i applaud them on that and then the guy was coming after me okay so i'm like damn so we're really freaking just having some trouble here. Uh, we had the guy come after us like a couple times throughout this game. And I, I wish that like you can have a better weapon and take them out with. But um, look at this right here. This epic save right here. Yeah, buddy. I got you, dog. I got you. So we got him. And um, I, I destroyed the boss right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. and show you guys how to get the staff and definitely drop it a like or even favor if you're not subscribed so hit that subscribe button baby and uh buying a perk random perk perk cola baby thank you for watching guys always leave it a rating deserves and if you haven't checked out my other zombie origins gameplay go check it out cap gun out